What's up, player? What can I do for you? Well, this must be some sort of mistake. Can you tell me why I'm not in the Royal Rumble this year? Well, I'll be damned. It wasn't intentional. Believe that. You're one of my top guys, dawg. But unfortunately, there's not a lot I can do. SmackDown's 15 slots are all filled. The only way I could get you in would be to kick someone else out. Hey, Theodore Long, what is the big idea of making me the number one entrant for the Royal Rumble? Now you know as well as I do, this year we had a random entry. Well, you better unrandom it, and quick. If I have to go in at number one, then with 29 guys I have to beat, anything could happen even to a wrestling god. So let me get this straight, player. You find being the number one entrant in the Rumble unacceptable? You're damn straight it's unacceptable. A superstar of my stature. How about you, player? I'll take anything I can get at this point. All right, then. You're out. You're in. Two birds, one stone, players. You, 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 you can't do this to me. I just did. Holla, holla, holla. Okay, player. I'm glad we got your Royal Rumble situation cleared up, and I feel like I owe you one. But I might have a way to fix that, too. Now, I've had a little personnel issue with the number seven entrant, so you're facing him in a match tonight. If you win, you trade numbers, and you move up in the rankings. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SmackDown. Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside. And folks, this is the beginning of the road to WrestleMania. And one huge stop along that road is the Royal Rumble, only four weeks away. 30 superstars in an over-the-top rope battle royal for the chance to face their brand's champion at WrestleMania. And this man isn't doing badly for himself at all, Taz. And when he got to the arena tonight, he wasn't even in the Royal Rumble. But now if he wins this match, he enters at number seven. Yeah, and even if he loses, he's still in it. Sure, it's not easy to win the Royal Rumble coming in first, but it's not like it's never been done before. Mr. I don't know what this man did to get on Teddy Long's bad side, but this is just a heck of a punishment for him. Yeah, I've heard some rumors, but I don't think you want to go there right now. But you're right. Dropping from number seven to number one in the Rumble isn't something any superstar wants. Not with the title at stake. A big SmackDown welcome to all our North American fans from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside. I'm telling you something, Cole, these Canadian fans are just as good as the fans in the U.S. This is going to be a great show. You're absolutely right, Taz. There's no doubt in my mind that the SmackDown superstars are going to give Toronto the show of a lifetime. There's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary dead man, The Undertaker. Yeah, but you can only stand. He's going for the submission. And he might get it. He's got that hook locked in. I've been locked in this hole before, and it hurts even worse than it looks. I can't even imagine the amount of pain that this hole must inflict on any superstar who winds up in it. Oh, my. There's the submission hole. He's in the driver's seat now. No doubt, Cole, if your opponent lets you lock that in, it usually means that they ain't got much left. Feel like a real jerk when somebody counters you like that.
This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? That'll probably come a little bit later on in the match, when you decide to shut your yap for a few seconds, and I can uh, enjoy it in peace. Well, excuse me for doing it. He ain't taking any chances with this submission, Cole. Look at how tight he's got it locked in. I see that, Taz. I wouldn't be surprised if he got his opponent to tap out right here. Oh, my! The submission hold is locked in! And this ain't easy to get out of either, Cole. And there's the submission hold. What a deadly maneuver this is! You're not kidding, Cole. This has been a great match so far. And I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, Cole. But if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> well, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. Oh, man, these fans are fired up now. He slipped out of that one. The thing you got to remember about The Undertaker is that 50% of his style, his offense, is about getting inside the head of his opponent. If you can keep your cool and keep your, you know, keep your head together in the ring with him, you're halfway home. But you're not taking into account the power and experience of the dead man, Taz. Surely you can't forget about that. Well, you see, that's the other 50%, Cole. You know, you can show up for the crowd all you want, but all that does is let your opponent rest up. Actually, Taz, I think it's a great display of confidence on the part of this great superstar. It's, uh-oh, you know what's coming next, Cole. Tombstone title driver. How many superstars have fallen victim to that over the years? <laughs> and the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant to... He could pin his opponent right here. Oh, man, I can't believe that wasn't free. Someone's going for a ride, Cole. And it looks like it's the last ride. One should, he may get the three count from oh, here. Two, Here's your winner, The Undertaker. Yeah, that's me, lucky number 13. Yeah, mine isn't so good. <laughs> that's right. Read them and weep, fellas. 29? All right. What a waste. Your sorry butt will get tossed out by number 30. Are you kidding me? I could come in at number one and still win the whole thing. Oh, really? Want to put that to the test? You and me, one-on-one -on -one tonight. No disqualifications. The winner gets your number, the loser gets mine. Wait a minute. Hey, let me in on the action. Let's make it a no DQ, triple threat. Winner gets the highest number, loser gets the lowest. What about it, tough guy? Willing to put your spot where your mouth is? You're not backing down, are you? Uh, no, no, no way. I'll see you two out there. Hold on a minute. I think he's up to something here. I guess we'll find out soon enough. The following triple threat match is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Matt Hardy.
and the opponent from San Diego, California, weighing 165 pounds, Rey Mysterio. A big SmackDown welcome to all our North American fans from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside. I'm telling you something, Cole, these Canadian fans are just as pumped as the fans in the U.S. This is gonna be a great show. You're absolutely right, Taz. There's no doubt in my mind that the SmackDown superstars are going to give Toronto the show of a lifetime. He anticipated that move perfectly. Wow, look at that submission. I ain't never seen it executed better. Neither have I, partner. And this might be enough to get the tap out right here. Great reversal. These WWE fans just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition. It's also about entertaining the fans. Okay, well, if that's the case, how come they got you as an announcer? I mean, that ain't exactly great entertainment, in my opinion. You might be right, Taz. I think it would be extremely entertaining to listen to you try to call a match all by yourself. All right, time to see what kind of toys we got under the ring. No, not for nothing. No disrespect. <laughs> when is Matt Hardy just gonna pass? Oh, man. What an impact. Yeah, you can hear that one up in the cheap seats, Cole. Oh my God, someone's gotta stop this. Don't start getting squeamish on me, Cole. Inflicting pain is the name of the game. It's so great seeing these athletes compete here tonight. I had a feeling they were gonna wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, any time before these kind of combustible elements into a match, you're guaranteed to get a hell of a show. And that's exactly what we're seeing here tonight. I'll tell you, all the WWE superstars are legit tough guys. But he he's had enough. This could be it. This is it. The last ride. Oh, God. You can just feel the impact from here. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Yeah, you can't let that break your focus. But that's easier said than done. Here's the pin. One, two. Man, it, I'll tell you what, man. This one's just turned into a fight. Pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I gotta admit, it kinda took me by surprise, Cole. That don't happen too often. That's an understatement. You've been in hundreds of matches in your career. We've both called hundreds more. We usually have a pretty good idea of someone's going for a ride, Cole. And it looks like it's the last ride. remember about The Undertaker is that 50% of his style, his offense, is about getting inside the head of his opponent. If you can keep your cool, he's going for the cover, Cole. One, two. Wow, I thought he had the pin for sure. Man, you talk about superstars and ain't got an ounce of quit in them, huh? You're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble. This is never, ever going to work. Not in a million years. I hate to say it, but I think you're right, Taz. It sounds like this capacity crowd has something on their minds, Taz. Yeah, and thousands of paying customers can't be wrong. Lay 
Ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing an incredible display of athletic ability here tonight. What do you expect, Cole? These are WWE superstars for crying out loud. They're the greatest athletes in the world. True enough, Taz. There's no off-season for them. There's no month or two off between matches. There sure ain't, Cole. I mean, these guys are here week in and week out, and every night they leave it in the ring. And they do it all for the WWE fans, Taz. Without them, none of us would even be here. Rey Mysterio is so exciting to watch in action. He's so fast, so agile, so talented. I really think he could be a serious contender for the WWE title. you got to be kidding me, Cole. On the mat, shoulders down. This could be it. Kicked out just in the nick of time. These superstars have been going hard all match. They sure have. And that's where the support conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. No doubt, Cole. There ain't no way you're going to win a match if you're out of gas two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won and lost simply because one superstar was able to outlast their opponent. I gotta tell you, Cole, I thought I had this thing figured out. But now, this could be free right here. You know, Cole, it looks like he's decided to finish off his opponent. And what a way to do it. A tombstone pile drive. I feel like a real jerk when somebody counters you like that. He may get the three count right oh. here. Oh, man, these fans are fired up now. They sure are. And you know. Here's your winner, The Undertaker. The following contest is a four-man battle royal. On the way to the ring, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 234 pounds, Chris Benoit.
And the opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 305 pounds, the And the opponent from St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands, weighing in at 268 pounds, Paul Butchell. Welcome to a sold out SmackDown from San Antonio, Texas. We have an exciting show for you tonight. Oh, I'm telling you, man, I can't wait for the action to start. Just listen to these fans. Look, Cole, I got a lot of respect for Chris Benoit, but he also jumped back and forth with the reward of SmackDown more than any other superstar. It almost looks to me like he might be choosing the path of least resistance, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, I doubt that very much, Taz. Chris Benoit never runs from anything. He's no coward. Whoa, listen, I'm not calling Benoit a coward. I'm just saying that he might have a knack for picking his spots. He's got a surgically repaired neck. Don't we forget, who could blame him for wanting to take things easy? Well, from what I've seen of Chris Benoit lately, he does everything but take it easy. All right, Cole, you know what? I'm just gonna drop it. It's pretty obvious you're just gonna twist everything. You know, instead of showboating to the fans, maybe you should really keep your head to this match. Come on, Taz. You're looking at a superstar who can feed off the crowd and use that energy to win the match. Tape is one of the most impressive superstars ever to set foot in a WWE ring. But you know what, Cole? You're only as good as your last match. How can you say that, Taz? The dead man has proven himself time and time again. I highly doubt that that would change if he lost this match, which I don't think he's in danger of doing, by the way. Tape has earned his rep, no doubt about that. No one's disputing that. But you gotta know when to call it a day, Cole. There's a fine line between legend and fans. I can't believe you can sit here and even imply that The Undertaker might be a has-been. That could be hazardous to your health. Hey, Cole, good words, my man. The dead man has been on top. Oh, man, this ain't gonna be pretty. Most fish shots in the turnbuckle. Blow after blow after blow. When's it going to end? And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Yeah, and you can't let that break your focus. But that's easier said than done. He could hit his opponent right here. Come on. That had to be free. You keep telling yourself that, Cole. One thing I love in my career is that the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Let's just gotta be careful. He might learn that the hard way tonight. These fans have certainly rallied around Bobby Lashley, and it's not hard to see why. I gotta tell you, Cole, I thought I had this thing figured out. But now it looks like he's decided to finish off his opponent. And what a way to do it! A tombstone power drive. On the mat, shoulders down. This could be it. Wow, I thought he had the pin for sure. These superstars have been go Uh oh, you know what's coming next, Cole. Tombstone title driver. How many superstars have fallen victim to that over the years? 
There's not a superstar in a locker room. Can... And there's the pin! It's so great seeing these athletes compete here tonight. I had a feeling they were going to wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, any time you throw these kind of combustible elements into a match, you're guaranteed to get a hell of a show. And that's exactly what we're seeing here tonight. Chuck the rule book out the window now. And that also means that there's no one to call a pinfall or submission. Nice reversal. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, come on, Cole. You know, you should let me train you. You could be Cruiserweight champ in like a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. He's had enough. This could be it. This is it. The last ride. Oh, God. You can just feel the impact from here. This could pass. He can get the pin right here. One, two, three. This has been a great match so far. I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, Cole. But if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> wow, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. Well, it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move, in my opinion. Well, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover, neither. You gotta stay on them and wear them down. But what about picking your spot? If you try to execute a badly timed move just because you want to stay on offense, that could have a disastrous result. I'll tell you what, Paul. Let me talk about what it's like to be in a match like this. If you can cover what it's like to whiten your teeth. Here's your winner. Whoa, easy there, pal. I'm not looking for a fight. I've got everything I need to beat you right here in my hand. What are you talking about? You know you couldn't beat me on your best day. You're already beat, pal. It specifically says right here in my Royal Rumble contract that the contract is fully notarized, binding, and non-transferable. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that Teddy Long had no legal right to give you my Royal Rumble spot. So I just want to thank you for all the hard work you put in to try and improve my Royal Rumble entry number.
Well, look who agreed to show up tonight without his entire legal team. I guess he's going to actually try and earn his place in the Royal Rumble after all. Please, Cole, you're being a little hard on him, huh? I mean, think about it for just one second. Teddy Long put him in a tough spot. You want to talk about fair? He got a Royal Rumble number by random draw, just like everybody else in the locker room fair and square. Remember, it was his own complaining that got him in this mess in the first place. I've got a lot of respect for this man, Taz. He didn't have to accept this match and risk his entry number at all. I mean, Teddy Long is right about the slow wheels of justice. There's no way he could have legally lost his Royal Rumble entry before this Sunday. Yeah, who knows? He could have had the victory overturned if he had won the Royal Rumble, Cole. I saw that report on WWE.com. He's got just as much at stake here as his opponent. Good evening, and welcome to Los Angeles, where a sellout crowd is ready for some SmackDown action. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside. Yeah, baby, L.A., it's always full of stars. But tonight, they're going to get to see some WWE superstars. And not just any superstars, but the SmackDown superstars, the greatest superstars in sports entertainment. Tinsel Tad will never be the same. You're not going to last long if you keep getting hit by an end. You got that right. I don't care how tough you are. He's putting that weapon to good use here. No doubt. As long as he's got that thing, he's in the driver's seat. You know, there's no doubt that The Undertaker is one of the most impressive superstars ever to set foot in a WWE ring. But you know what, Cole? You're only as good as your last match. How can you say that, Taz? The dead man has proven himself time and time again. I highly doubt that that would change if he lost this match which I don't think he's in danger of doing, by the way. Take his earned his rep, no doubt about that. No one's disputing that. But you gotta know when to call it a day, Cole. There's a fine line between legend and has-been. I can't believe you could sit here and even imply that The Undertaker might be a has-been. That could be hazardous to your health. Hey, Cole, don't put words in my mouth. The dead man has been on top of this business for a very long time. But the thing about being on top is there's nowhere to go but down. I like JBL style, Cole. He sets a goal for himself. He tells you exactly what he's going to do. He likes fighting dirt. And it's easy to see why. He's pretty good at it. He certainly is. And I hope he's proud of himself, personally. I find it disgusting. There's not a superstar in the locker room who can afford to ignore these fans, Cole. You're right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of a job. The thing you gotta remember about The Undertaker is that 50% of his style and his offense is about getting inside the head of his opponent. If you can keep your cool, to keep your, you know, keep your head together and the rim on, you're halfway home. But you're not taking into account the power and experience of the dead man, Taz. Surely you can't forget about that. Well, you see, that's the other 50%, Cole. Good luck with that, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, by the way, I need some You feel me, Shirley? Man, I'm telling you, from my in-ring experience, trust me, you can cut this tension with a knife. I don't think you need in-ring experience to feel the tenacity radiating off these superstars, Taz. I don't think anything could be more obvious. Spoken like a guy who's never been in there, Cole. Trust me, when it comes down to you or them, it's a whole different level of intensity. I'll have to take your word for it, Taz. I honestly can't imagine a more electric atmosphere than the one in this arena right now. I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. You're not going to hear me say this much, Cole, but I definitely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long feud. 
What incredible intensity for these two superstars trading blows high above the ring. It sounds like this capacity crowd is something on their minds, Taz. Yeah, and thousands of paying customers can't be wrong. Well, it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move, in my opinion. Well, come on. You just can't... Talk about a reversal of fortune cast. We've got one superstar that was booted out of the Royal Rumble because of his own bad attitude, but now he's legitimately fought and won his way back in. And we've got another guy who was originally left out due to an oversight. And even fought for a better entry number. But now that the smoke's cleared, he's on the short end of the stick again. That was a tough loss, player. And believe me, I'd much rather have you in the Royal Rumble than the man who beat you tonight. But a deal's a deal, and I've got to honor it. But don't beat yourself up too bad, player. You might not be in the Royal Rumble, but WrestleMania's only two months away, and I might just find some other plans for you. Holla!